5050, honoring 50 years of Title IX and the women moving the world forward. W Studios 5050 Shorts are presented by Google, proud advocate of women in sports. Almost all over 85, with the oldest being 92. I got involved in 1998. I've been with them ever since. And if you've ever seen pregnant manatees play, you've seen us play. We don't move too fast, but we have fun. Marge, you'll be 90 soon. You can't stop her shots. With that overhead shot she has, you can try all you want, but she... no, you can't. <laughs> When I started to play again in 94, uh, my childhood friends thought I was nuts. Nice, Money in the bank. You could break an arm, break a leg. You know, I said, but I still want to try. I love the game. OK, here we go, Grace. We're going for 10, we got one. There's two. Grace is a marvel. She's 92. Grace is getting a lot better at passing when she can't make it, because they usually just really guard her close. But she's an excellent shooter. Corey, she knows that drop pass of hers is unbelievable. But if she's anywhere near that basket and had the ball, she'd put it up. Our coach, she's got the biggest heart, and she's got the patience of Job. <laughs> Flash is the oldest team in the Senior Women's Basketball Association. They have a competition about that. They want to be the oldest person in the team. So that's why Grace is kind of the queen. The league is a group of women 50 and up. We have games all throughout the year, but also we travel around the country to play national senior games. Slash has won six gold medals couple of bronze. We don't have any set plays like we used to have. <laughs> now that we wouldn't remember it. <laughs> so it's just improvise. <laughs> you make it up as you go along. <laughs> One, One, two, two three, three, slash! Yeah. OK, come on. Come on, kids. I uh, live on three acres. There's animals to be fed, and there's things to be taken care of out in the yard, and you've got to do it. Come on. Uh-uh, I didn't invite you out. No. I know you found the source, didn't you? Where are you, kid? Good morning, Mom. Good morning, David. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing fine. Did you sleep OK last night? Oh, yes. Very well. <laughs> My son, David, was three when he had his accident. He was hit by a car right up the street. He was chasing his puppy. And it got him primarily right in the back of the head. So he had very serious head injuries. He was in a coma for three months. Now his cerebellum is atrophying, and he's losing more and more balance all the time. But he's a good kid. He's a lot of company. My older son got hepatitis, and it destroyed his liver, and he died two years ago. We've been living in this house a long time, haven't we? 
51 years. Wow. If these walls could talk, they would tell some... I'd have to burn them down. Very interesting stories. As many times I get up in the morning and think, oh, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> but around here, you got to do it. There's too many things that depend on you, so, so you do it, and you feel better. I was raised during the Depression in Queens Village, New York City. And when I started to play basketball, it was a church. Our pastor, he started up a boys team and a girls team, and it was full court basketball, and I loved it. I got married in 1954 to Phil, wonderful guy, he was a stockbroker. We had two kids. He was a functioning alcoholic. I dried him out many times. Finally, after 20 years, I had enough. And uh, so I divorced him, and then he committed suicide. And it was hard. It was hard. Yo. We're going to team up. Later on, my daughter, she had the same DNA as her dad. She had 10 months clean and sober, and then she relapsed. In 91, my daughter died. Heroin is a mean sucker. That's a mean drug. You were out of sync. You're supposed to go first, not your kids. It's an ongoing thing. It doesn't go away, it doesn't, yeah. When I started to play again, I was a facilitator of a suicide group, survivors of suicide. And one of the women was leaving, and I said, where are you going? She said, I'm going to be playing basketball. I said, really? I haven't played basketball in so many years. She said, why don't you come join us? And that was when I met Meg. She was the one who really started the league. Found out that she also lost a child to drugs, like I did. and. She was one person I could always talk to, but she understood. And that was the way I found myself again. When Meg first helped found the League, she just really wanted to create a space for women to come together around the shared love of the game. I don't see any old ladies here. I see basketball players. <laughs> There's uh, plenty of food in the refrigerator. Don't forget how to feed the dogs. OK, well, I'll give you a call either today or tomorrow. We're an hour ahead there, so it does make a difference. OK, kid, you behave, OK? Mm -hmm. OK. So Good. then we'll see you t Monday. Be careful. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Well, let me get my car situated first. Well, I like this shirt because it has my age, 30. <laughs> oh, mine too. Yeah, 21. Uh -huh. <laughs> At least I'm legal. We, we know a thing or two. <laughs> the basketball, that helps. I mean, when we go on these tournaments, we're all there to cheer each other on. It's a sisterhood. Yeah. The women playing here today, one end of the court is 75 and older, and they're getting ready for the state championships that are coming up. They're on the number one senior women's basketball team in the country. I'm competitive. I'm not strong. <laughs> when these women play, they play hard. Good move. Yeah. Togetherness is one of the big things. We're a sisterhood. The WNBA invited Splash to play at halftime at the Phoenix Mercury game. So we're excited to take a road trip over there and take the court. Some women in San Diego have truly found a league of their own, and now they're finding fans. A group of women, some deep into their 80s, out on the court doing work and making up for lost time when they couldn't get out there. Man, 
you got gorgeous nails. I hate to cut them off, but mm. it's for the safety of the game. Yeah. I just talked to Grace and Marge, and what they're gonna do is when you throw the ball in, just one of them's gonna pop up. Mm -hmm. All right, so that you'll know which one to throw it to. And then you can go set a pick on the off ball. Off ball. Yeah. Unless they take off on you, and then it's like, <laughs> well, okay, then yeah. you go for the offside rebound. Yeah. Just keep going. Yeah, I'd, I'd, uh, try to get a short shot for uh, Gray. Right. Right for Grace? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put my whistle on and take it, but you guys better not make me blow it. No <laughs> fouls, got it? No fouls. No fouls. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go down, down to Marge's room. Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna hang out here and party. So I told her too about um, passing, to look for the one that pops up, and then she's gonna go do what after you pass it in? Oh. Um. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah, that's all right. Something She's going to get there. I don't know what it's supposed to when, Once you pass it well, in, you're going to go. Well, you guard the other. No. Or, or when you're or on or offense, if you pass the ball to Marge, you're going to go. At wh whoever set else a pick is there. On the offside ball. Remember, we just talked, you just told me over there. I know you know. You're going to go set a pick on the offside. Yeah. Okay. So that's why we're going to go do an off ball pick. Because the then Fran, who's guarding you, is going to. Corey be is suffering with dementia now. It's difficult at times, but Corey's all alone. So we've been trying to watch out for her. <laughs> Get away from here. It's, uh, all right. I think you guys got it. Main thing, guys, is just have fun. Get out there and enjoy the moment. They're, they're special friends. Unconditional love. Come on, I gotta go. So Matt told us the fans are already lined up in here. Rock and roll. Here we go. This is the real deal, people. Oh, that's a lot of people out there. You got this. Yeah, but you got the two best shooters on one team. Come on, you're a great shooter. Believe in yourself. Wow. You really are, Nina. Factor for your halftime entertainment, please welcome the San Diego Splash. One, two, three, splash! All right, back out here. Corey, you're guarding her. You're guarding Fran. There you go. Let's set a screen. <laughs> That's the future right there. Young girls, look at that. In my school, we weren't allowed to play full court basketball. Look at that. They didn't have much sports for girls. We couldn't go to the wood shop. We had to learn sewing. We had to go into homemaking. I just felt it was unfair. Title line really gave an okay for women to be athletic, period. You could tell Corey was starting to decline. And we realized at that point that it would probably be her last trip with the team. Our team is 
slightly dwindling. I hope we can find a few more players. The team got hit hard during COVID. The isolation was really difficult for us. Kind of did whatever we could to keep everybody together. But there's been so much loss in this league. We've lost a number of women. We have lost little Peg, we lost Lois, we lost Ginger, we lost Jean. And we lost Megan. She was a good friend. Age takes its toll. Death is inevitable. It's going to happen to all of us. My darling Gigi, I've learned so much from you. Number one, surround yourself with great teammates. They will be your family for life. We got some new young players on the team. We have one that's just 80, Mama Day. She knows the game very well. She's a good shooter. Happy to have her on the team, really happy. I was working as a Navy nurse for about 25 years. I retired. My first memory of playing basketball is when I walked into a gym here in California. I was 61 years old. I was only there just to watch to see if I would be interested. They asked me to play and the rest is history. Yeah, I locked it. Hey, Grace, let's go. Who do you think might want to join us? I think we've asked all the 80-year-olds, and well, I don't um, think any of them want to leave that other team. So we, we just have to hope and pray that Marge gets better, yeah. and, and so, Mary gets better, and Nina gets better, and you get better. And, yeah. Hello. Hey, Splash Kids. Hey, how are you? Today, we have Shooters versus Splash. Sometimes it, it's a bit of a challenge when we, as 80 plus, are playing the ladies who are 50 plus because they have to modify their playing. But it's been fun. I play very well with Grace. We have our own little hand signals, but no one else knows what we're doing. So we just have a real good time out there playing. It makes me feel good to know that we can inspire women to think that, yes, they too can do something when they get older. Nice D. Over the past few years, there have definitely been some setbacks with the team. Grace had broken her wrist, and Nina has a broken hip. There's your shot, Grace. Come on, Grace, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Make a splash. I'm going to keep going until I can't. <laughs> until the time's up. Miss Corey, how are you, girl? You can just stay right here. You're happy. Yes, Brought so. a basketball for you. Do you remember oh, this basketball yeah. from Phoenix? Remember we took that trip in the van to Phoenix to play? Uh-huh. You do remember. Here we are. Yeah. Franny, Nina, me, you, Jean, Meg. <laughs> we lost her. We <laughs> lost her. We lost little Fran. Oh, there you are, Corey. Yeah. There's the shot. Look at that power pose right there. That's the triple threat pose right there. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some. Music is one thing that she connects with. It's amazing. I don't care if I ever get back.
If I sing to it, she sings right along with me. <laughs> we care about one another. Two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to be dead by 30, the way I was going. If anybody dare me to do something, I would do it. I've done some crazy stuff. <laughs> and I'm still here. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you put your left foot here, right foot there. There's one, and there's two. Perfect. <laughs> So what's going to happen is I'm going to tap you. When I do, I want you to bring those arms out like this. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's how I got pregnant. That's going to keep us alive. Yeah? So arch so we don't die, and pick up your feet so you don't break your legs. Do ya 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 do ya